Google me, look me up, I make six figures. How you doing? <laughs> hey. What's, What's going, going on, on man? man? Giovanni. Yeah, I know. Nice to meet you. Oh, really? How you doing? <laughs> Take care, man. Take care, man. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm trying to notice that I had to get up and focus. No playing around with them brokers. Had to run them bands up, make them notice. People be saying that I'm making up now. I'm doing my shit, I'll be on it. My friends, they be turning their back now. They doubt me. Obviously, Google and what you've done for your clients will show that it's true. That's the magic pill. It's, it's there's a funny. I think I've noticed in life to me, it's come to two and threes. There's a very rarely it's a one. So if you do a book and you do a gorgeous book, I mean, it's just absolutely not just beautiful, but it's so powerful, right? Sure. And it has no plan. My phone died. <laughs> Man, bro. Man. So this is a doctor that I met at uh, at the event. He asked me to tell him what my message, what my um, like to share my story, the inspiration of my story, in three sentences. What is your inspiring story? Give me three sentences. So growing up, I was always classified as the underdog. I was motivated by people that doubted me. The result of my early success was ego. But. Humility was the missing piece to abundance in my life. And now I'm motivated by love. I sent it to him. He's like, man, you, you need to write a book. He's an author, he got his PhD, philosophy, also entrepreneurology. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it the right way. And yeah, bro, just a great connect, man. That, that, uh, that event was dope, so I'm excited. But we need uh, outlets. Yeah. These are outlets? Yeah. You set up right here? You could post up anywhere, boy. Okay. Hey, you got oh. an iPhone charger? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy over here complaining, no, man. He's living no, he's living his dream right now, man. He's over here complaining. I man, he's about to take off. I don't have a charger. For real? Dang, bro. Hold on, let me check. Man, I got a charger in the car, bro. Damn, Both, uh, the box too? Nah, I just got the car charger. Google me, look me up, I make six figures. How you doing? <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's going on, man? man? Giovanni. Yeah, I know. Nice to meet you. Oh, really? How you doing? <laughs> Take care, man. Take care, man. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> bro. This is crazy, bro. What the hell? He said, I know. How does that make you feel, bro? I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed. I feel like uh, it's time to really, really make an impact, bro. Real talk. You already are, bro. Nah, but like a bigger impact, man. That's inspirational, bro. Gotta stay humble, though. Hey, I was reading the, uh, the book that you bought me, bro, on the plane. Uh, it just gave me reassurance on just making sure that I have humility, bro, through this uh, through this journey. Because that's, that's definitely what's caused the abundance, you know, fast success builds ego, but slow success builds character. And uh, with that being said, when success came to me initially, it got to my head. <laughs> I wasn't somebody you wanted to be around, man. I was full of myself, man. I walked around with what the Bible says is haughty eyes. That's one of the things that, that in the book of Proverbs it says that God hates. The first one is haughty eyes, egotistical eyes. And God brought me to my knees through a circumstance that happened in my life and uh, used that to draw closer to me. To me, When I drew closer to God, the result was uh, humility and I recognized that that was the missing, the missing piece to more abundance in my life. And so uh, I used to be motivated by doubt and hate and don't get me wrong, it does to an extent still, but not like it used to. I'm more motivated by love now. I'm, I'm, I'm super hyped up to be able to just show love put people on you know what I'm saying give people a new a new view a new perspective through my journey you know and the only thing I ask is for them to just pay it forward show more love love is the answer God is love let's get it baby hey what's up man hey what's up bro you ready yeah I thought you were gonna uh, wax the hatch 
by the end of the day. Yeah. What are you waiting for? Uh, making some calls, bro. Okay. And so and then, there's uh, there's three options. We can wholesale it, we can hotel it, or we can um, you know partner with an investor, subdivide each lot, and sell them individually. So you're trying to determine what's the best route. Yeah. Okay. But and I'll then, uh, I'll have an answer by the end of the day, bro. Okay. Cool. And then uh, Sanger. Uh, so we're setting a demand letter. Here yeah. Yeah. Sanger. I already t I talked to the attorney this morning. He's uh, drafting up a demand letter. That'll be finished in the next before mid midweek. So by Wednesday, we'll send that out. They'll receive it. Usually they respond, you know, same day or within a couple days, uh, and then we'll just go from there, bro. Okay, and then we have another. We have a 29k bag. The seller is trying to back out for Carol, and uh, he wants somebody offered him more. So if if we take if we give him the same offer he got and it goes down to 10k so we're still trying to negotiate okay then no, then no we'll, we'll pursue bro yeah we'll start that process just needs to explain that you know we've got an obligation to perform on our you know with our agreement you know and so if, if that's not done then then legal action will be taken and tell stevie needs to convey that that's out of his control that's just company policy we have an agreement if we don't move forward with it if we were to back out i would expect you to do the same but we're not being greedy if you got a higher offer man great and for you to feel better we're giving you an extra four grand that's i think that's very generous but not anything more than that we, we will have to take legal action okay perfect Alrighty, so you got a deal, but this is a big deal, okay? This is a, this isn't your typical deal. Originally, it was we thought it was 36 acres in Ellis County, zone of single family residential. When we did the survey, you got the survey back, and it's actually 42 acres. Got it under contract for 500,000. Sent it to a few of our buyers. Um, I think highest offer as of right now is like six six. 30 or 640 one of the two I've got three options I could wholesale it make a quick you know 130k 150k assignment fee or list it on the MLS which is referred to as a hotel do a hotel deal or I could partner with somebody subdivide each lot tell them individually it takes more time but that's also another route so what I'm doing right now is uh, trying to determine which route I want to take. These kind of deals don't don't come across often, so I want to make sure I capitalize on this opportunity. And I think wholesaling this deal would be the easiest, the fastest, the most convenient. But uh, the last option, option number three, by subdividing it would be the most lucrative, but more time consuming. Just, just thinking out loud, if I was in a circumstance where I needed the money right now, I think option number one would be best, but because that's not the situation, my business is thriving, I don't need the money right now. And so, um, not only would this be challenging, but it would also be extremely lu lucrative and it would be a, a a next level learning process for me because I've never done it before. That's the route I think I'm going to take. So if I'm taking option number three, what I need to do is I need to make sure my private money lender can, can fund this. And I know a few private money lenders. And then I also need to brainstorm on who I can partner with for this deal. And it's got to be somebody that obviously is credible. And I have a few people in mind. Those are some things that I've got to, I've got to figure out. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some calls. I'm going to call some, some, some investors that I've worked with in the past that specialize in doing this kind of thing. Pitch the deal to them and, and see if they'd be open to working with me on this project. I'm not going to talk about percentages in this call, but what I'm going to do is pitch the deal and see if they're interested in working with me. If that's the case, I'm going to send them the details on the deal and see what they propose. Okay? If they want to provide the lender, if they want to do everything and I just got to sit back and just bring the deal, I'd be open-minded to getting less on this deal. But if if I have to bring you know some of my resources to the table, well, that's going to take time, which time is money, and, and uh, I'm going to want a bigger percentage. So with that being said, I'm going to make some calls so you guys can listen. So, pay attention. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. I'm calling you because I got another deal. It's 42 acres in Waxahachie. I can wholesale it right now for a $150,000 assignment fee. But I was told that if I subdivided these lots and sold them like doing that route, 
it, I could make more money, but I've never done that before. Um, I was just calling to you to see if you'd be open to maybe collaborating with me on this deal. Where's the hot That's uh, how far from Dallas? Not, not far, like maybe 30 minutes. It's Ellis County. Okay. Uh, single family vegetarian suit. I have the survey. I can send you all the details. It's not already platted. It still needs to be developed. It has utilities. Okay. Uh, how many acres? Forty-two. How much? Will I have. I have it under contract for five hundred thousand. Thousand. Wow, that's really good. Nice. You want the address? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I can. Okay, you can email, you email me everything you have. Yeah, I'll email you the details. What, what's your plan? What do you want to? Well, I'd like to. I'd like to do. You know, I'd like to subdivide the lots and sell them individually, or develop on them. Um, I, I, I think there's more money to be made on this deal, and I don't want to just wholesale it. You can look, look at the comps. There's similar comps that sold for like eight hundred thousand, but I'd rather, you know, subdivide these lots and, and, you know, work with somebody on this project. Let's do this. I'm gonna send you all the details. Um, you you tell me if you want to collaborate with me on it if you think it's a good deal if, if so let's have another call and let's brain let's brainstorm on on how we can do this together okay all right yes send me everything and let me take a look okay all right thank you so much yeah, right. well, let me know yeah yeah no problem thank you bye-bye yeah, if you see any good apartment deal yeah i still want to buy an apartment too okay definitely sounds okay, good good thanks bye thank you bye. all right so, you know, wanted to, you know, just gave him some general information on the deal. You know, he's going to analyze it, you know, verify that everything I said was was accurate and make sure it's, you know, there's money on the deal. Most importantly, if it's going to be worth his time, which this is a big deal. Um, this is, you know, we're talking about 42 acres. That's a it's a lot of land. You know, that's the first guy I called. So, I'm going to call I'm going to call somebody else. Hey, this is Giovanni. How are you? Good, Giovanni. How are you, man? Good, good, good. I won't hold you for too long, man, but I uh, wanted to give you information on this deal I've got. I'm not sure if my guys already sent it to you, but it's that deal in Waxahachie. So so we can wholesale this deal and make, you know, like 100K, 120K assignment fee, but but I would rather, like, partner with somebody and, and you know, subdivide these lots. And, and, and if that route is more lucrative, you know, not, not only do I want to learn that process, but, you know, if I can make you know the same or you know what I'm saying I can partner with somebody and like yourself and we both make money I'd be interested in doing that with you if, if that's something you're interested in yeah I think when um, I looked at that deal a while back uh, I think the challenge that I saw was um, I think I think there, it's not a paved road I don't think it's even there is even a road on some of these parcels you know, uh, somebody would have to buy the whole thing, um, it maybe an easement or some sort, but it, it's going to be tough to subdivide until, you know, unless it has a county road front it and, and at least a power line going through it, you know. Those are the two basic uh, requirements uh, for the for the subdivision. Uh, so a county line and, and what else? Uh, county road and power line. Power uh, line? You know, on the, at the road, yeah. So did you verify if those things were there, or are you kind of just assuming that? I, I kind of Googled it. I haven't, I didn't even drive by there. You know, when I looked at it, I noticed that there wasn't, like, it, it was like it had a road marking on there, but the actual road was not there. Okay. Um, is what I saw on the Google. Maybe if I look at some actual picture, you know, I, I would, that would probably be a different story. I, right now, I'm, I'm kind of busy traveling a lot. Yeah. Well, what I can do is I can verify some of these things and, you know, if these things are accurate, I, I won't call you back, but, you know, if there is power lines and I call the city and, and some of these things that you're assuming aren't there are there, would this be something that you'd potentially be interested in? Because we have it yeah. under contract at 500000 Okay. Yeah, I would, be, I would be interested. It would be ideal to have a paved road, uh, but if it's a gravel, that's fine power line, you know, running through the, along the road, and it's uh, part of it, um, at least some part of it has to be outside the floodplain, and, you know, those are the three minimum things I would check, you know, at least give you a Fuck, my phone died. Bro. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? Okay, so what's what's the highest offer we have, bro? The highest offer we have is a 655 to 7-day option, and then... No option, highest offer we have is at 65. Six, 60 what? 
635. Which 650 is from? Okay. He's been blown. He's been blown up on this bro, mate. He's calm, calm, text me, text me, mate. Okay, and then uh, the other, uh, the other one is who is that from? Okay, so I have some questions for you, bro. Is it in a flood zone? Any part of the property? Yes, it's part of the property. It was in the flood zone. Which part? The, the back end of the property. The part that is a little bit does get a little bit flooded. So back in towards the creek. Okay, so is there is there a paved road? Yeah, bro. It has access. It has an east end. It has a frontage road. So it has a um, county. It has a it has a county road. Yeah, it has a county road. It's directly on the county road. I have pictures of. The can you send me those pictures? Yeah, let me send them to you. You're gonna, you're gonna think it's a beautiful property, but okay. uh, it's flat land, no trees. Dang, bro. Making my dick hard. <laughs> 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 nah, that's good shit, bro. Send me those pictures. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Yeah, so if there's a county road, bro, that, that kind of changes the game. Uh, I, I was, I was... Um, I needed the answer to, you know, those two questions, whether there's a county road, a paved road, or, or some type of, like, gravel road, there is, um, and then also, if there's, if there is a flood zone, you know, how minimal is it, and, um, you know, what are the details on, on, on that, and so, with you sharing what you just shared with me, most likely, uh, I'm gonna buy it, bro, but, uh, I'll have an, a, like I said, I'll have a definite answer for you by the end of the day, bro, so, Around like 435, you'll you'll know if we'll wholesale it or if we're uh, if I'm gonna keep it. Okay, but yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, I appreciate that, bro. I'm gonna look at them now, and then uh, I'll be I'll call you before the end of the day, bro. That's good news. That is good news. So there is a county road. The only thing is, is it is in the flood zone, but the 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 flood zone description was very minimal. You know, there hasn't been a flood since she's owned the property. This is an elder lady that that uh, inherited the property and she's owned it for, I want to say, longer than 15 years. And there's also, there there's a drainage there. My phone's dead, but I'm going to call him back and, and, and convey these things to him and see if he's interested. Well, most likely it sounds like I'm going to, I'm going to partner with the investor on this deal. So I hope this helps, man. I hope this helps, you know, because there will be situations where, guys, you can, you can make money, but you can learn. You know what I'm saying? So there's three options in this case scenario. And the reason I am not so quick to wholesale it is because, okay, even if, even if, you know, option one, okay, I wholesale it and I make 150 grand on the assignment fee. If I partner with somebody, if I can learn this process, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe even, you know, keep three of these lots and, and, and when we sell it, I still make, you know, 130, 140 keep two lots and then I learned how to subdivide properties and resell them you know I, I have an understanding of how the process works but I've never actually done it I'm just being honest with you but I, I, I want to learn when you are in these situations where you know you're doing a bunch of wholesale deals and, and big deals like this cross your path where you can make you know 40k 50k assignment fees these are the kind of deals where you need to sit back and think you know may, maybe I'm leaving some money on on the table you know and so you got to you know, make some calls, call some people in your network. That's why it's important to, you know, have investors in your network or people that you know that, that can give you advice on these kind of things. I've developed relationships with these people over the years. These are people I've known for three, four years. So, um, yeah, guys, don't burn any bridges. Make, make relationships because that's key, especially when you're leveling up. So I hope this helps, guys. Let's get it, baby. post and it was a picture of me and Dolph Deroos, multi-millionaire commercial investor. I was blessed to, to be in the presence of him and it was a picture of him just giving me game and giving me knowledge. Even when I'm 60, 70, I'm an expert in my, my field, I'm going to still be learning. And one of my high school teachers reached out to me just saying, Gio, I'm so proud of you. The first thing that she said is, you weren't a student in high school. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She said you weren't a student in high school, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna about I'm gonna pull this up, man, because this is funny. I actually apologized to her. I said I'm sorry for being a knucklehead. Check this out. 
the post I made it was always be a student, except in high school. I responded, I said I was a knucklehead. Sorry you had to deal with me. I hope all is well. I'm grateful. Thank you. Man, God is good, man. God is good. I bet you like majority of the teachers, my principals, a couple of them follow me, but I'm sure they would be shocked to see what I'm doing and to see the things that I've done. I bet you everybody from my school thought I was gonna be in jail, be a nobody, or be six feet under. But I'm here, man, I'm thriving, we up.